Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Bite Size Mining and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about mining pools and the different payout schemes that these, these mining pools can have. And this topic is sparked out of the pubs mining pool where we were having a pool hopper basically come in and whenever we, we found a block would jump into our mining pool and start mining and taking away shares and reward from the people who are loyal to the pool. So I want to kind of go through this with you guys. I want to kind of highlight two different kinds of pool payout schemes and kind of go through the benefits of what we have now enacted on the pubs mining pool for Bitcoin private. So the first one here is is the is the pay per share type of payout, the PPS. So what this means is basically that if you have any shares up till the discovery of that block, that is your percentage based on however many shares there are in total that were mined during that period, that is your percentage of reward for the next block. So let's say, so what, for instance, let me give you the example we were having. We were having a pool hopper jump into the pool, mine for about 15 minutes once we have won a block, and then leave. And so what that person was essentially doing was preloading their shares for the next block that we would win. And at first we didn't think that this was such a big deal until we actually saw how, many, how much he was actually earning and how much he was actually taking away from other people because he was bringing in or this person was bringing in a ton of hash power for that 15 minutes for that 15 minutes they were mining at 3000 solutions per second okay that's taking out a lot of shares for those those miners that are loyal so let me tell you what we enacted on the pubs mining pool we enacted the the PPLNS Okay, so what's PPLNS? PPLNS is the pay per last in shares. So what that essentially is, is it takes the amount of time you've been on the pool and uses that and weighs it against how many shares you have, uses that to determine how much you're going to get paid when that block is found and the reward is distributed and paid out. What PPLNS also does though is it will make sure that you have mined for at least 51% of that time. So if you haven't mined for 51%, it starts deducting more and more and more out of your reward. Making this PPLNS makes it less attractive to pool hoppers because their portion that they're putting onto your pool is not equivalent to the PPS type scheme okay in PPS they're, they're racking it up before the block is even found right in PPLNS you're rewarded for the time based and your share based so there's a mixture it adds a little bit more to the mix when it comes to your reward payout so my advice to you guys all you miners out there I would say find out what pool, what what pay schedule or what paying scheme your pool is using before you go ahead and and commit your your hashing power to it, okay? For us here using the pub mining pool, this was something that really wasn't wasn't on our minds and and we didn't think that pool hopping was was still prevalent, right? But we kept seeing we kept seeing the spike of hash power as soon as we would win a block and we were thinking either that person who was was bringing in the block or because of that person we were we were finding a block and that wasn't the case okay so so that benefit we thought we were getting or we were confused about was not actually a benefit it was actually a case of a pool hopper jumping into the pool and stealing shares and stealing reward from those who were loyal to our mining pool. So again guys, I would really highly recommend that before you decide on a pool that you check and see how their payout and their payout structure is, whether they're PPS 
or whether they're PPLNS. Okay, there's other payout schemes that are out there as well. I would go ahead and jump in and do the research on that payout scheme and make sure you're comfortable with it. Okay, here at Hashet Mining on the Hashet Mining mining pool, we're using the PPLNS. Okay, this makes sure that we reward our loyal miners, our loyal members with as much as they can possibly get. And typically with PPLNS, you're looking at about a 5% more in reward because of the PPLNS, because you're loyal to that mining pool. Again, guys, if any of this information is unclear, please visit us at the Bitcoin Pub. We're happy to answer any questions you have. Please leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button if this is a, a video that you find was extremely helpful for you guys. And don't forget to keep on mining.